Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name is Julie Summers, and if you're just joining us, uh, the name of my channel is Wild Summers Academy. And I have a very important, um, I'm sitting in my rocking chair so you can see me rocking back and forth. And I do apologize for my glasses, it's like really early and I haven't put my contacts in. Um, I have a very difficult to talk about subject, um, today. I mean, let's just get into it, rip the band-aid off. My son has autism. Okay. You may have seen in videos that he is, um, interacting with me and he's happy and he's just a good, good little kid. Okay. Yesterday when we went to church, let me tell you what happened. I took him to, uh, normally, the church I go to has a special ed class. The teacher was not there. Um, so I made the decision to go ahead and take him to the regular, um, the regular, um, thir second and third grade class. Looking at it now, I will never make that decision again. I will walk out before that happens. And the reason why is even though my son is, has on all of his paperwork, all of his paperwork, listed that he has high-functioning autism. People out there in a volunteer setting will not look at that. They don't know what it is. They think that autism is a child who sits in the corner, rocks against the wall, lines up little cars, um, that kind of thing. So, I am so sorry for the glare on these glasses. Um, Let's see if maybe I can adjust the screen a little bit. And, okay, that that might help. I am so sorry. Um, but anyway, yes, I took him to the regular class, and I regret it so much now. And the reason why, the reason why, is because in that class, they treated him like a normal kid. Okay, that's great. He was really frustrated. He was really upset. Children that have high functioning autism do not transition well. I'm going to put that out there. They do not transition well at all. Okay. So moving from music to, which is something that you're very pumped up and um, interactive with moving from that and moving around to sitting down and having a lesson is not going to work well. It's just not. And when I picked him up, my child was crying. They did not come get me after I stood there and talked to the teacher and told her, my son has autism. Please do not hesitate to come get me. I sit in this row in the church. Please, if anything happens, if he is upset in any way, come get me. And she did not do it. So I am extremely upset. There were 34 kids in his class in second and third graders. I was told when I dropped him off that there would be seven children. That, that was their normal. They've really never had more than that. She blatantly lied to me. I am not okay with that. So, that's the backstory of why I'm doing this. She told me when I picked him up that when I dropped him off, he didn't look like he had autism. He didn't look like he had any kind of issue. He didn't look like he had a disability so she didn't treat him like he should have been treated she did not apologize for this she blamed me so I am I, I, I'm still upset this is Monday morning it is like five o'clock in the morning I just got up and I'm still angry because of the way that my son was treated yesterday. 
and it is frequent. We had this issue at co-op. We had this issue at the last church we attended. We had this issue at VBS, at two different VBSs that we went to. People need to be aware of kids that the parent is very upfront and says, my child has this issue. Do not antagonize it or let me know and I will come take them out of that situation because I do not want to cause my child any kind of discomfort, any kind of fear, especially in a social situation where my child does not want to go back to church at this particular church now. We have attended this church for almost a year, but he has always been in the special ed class where there are two kids. Two. He doesn't want to go back. So, I want to define what high-functioning autism is for people that are out there that don't know what this is. So, I made a list of what some of the symptoms that, well, a lot of the symptoms that my son has is. Um, number one, becomes too overwhelmed very quickly or with too much verbal direction. A neurofunctionally um, normal child can take three to four directions and go with it. A child who has high functioning autism, you need to pause between directions. Um, can be caused uh, can be calmed by external stimulation, soft music, being allowed to spin in a chair. Um, flapping arms. My son flaps or taps. Um, he does that. Um, he also has a pressure vest. Uh, these are things that he was told to stop it. I heard her when I picked him up tell him to stop it. I am not okay with that. Um, children with autism, with high functioning autism, or are on the higher spectrum, uh, the, the more functioning spectrum um, of ASD, are um, intolerant to certain food textures or clothing textures. They don't like to touch things that are different. Um, my son doesn't like to wear dress pants. He wears jeans to church. Apparently he was teased for it while he was there by another child. Um, children like my son may laugh or cry or throw a fit for no reason or no apparent reason. Nothing that you or I can see that makes them upset. They also have drawn out emotional periods so what will upset us for a moment may upset them for five to six minutes. And it's, it's just, it's not okay when a parent tells you, my child has problems, and these are the problems, to, um, to just go and ignore the mom, or ignore, or, or ignore the dad if that's the situation. Um, may tune out uh, yelling or reprimanding. He completely ignored her when she yelled at him to stop it. Why are you yelling at a child that does not belong to you? Seriously. Um, another thing that my son has is he has on his arms several large welts. Okay, This is caused by picking. It is a type of stimming. And what he does is to calm himself down, he will twist his skin until his fingernails create a little wound and it gives him an emotional release and I am not saying that that's okay but it's something that happens and um, he has a really high pain tolerance also um, and I, I will go into some other details about um, things that are not related to this situation in another video in a few minutes um, 
Another thing that he has difficult difficulty with is reading people's facial expressions. He did not see that he was upsetting this teacher. And since he has limited affect, she didn't see that it was upsetting him. There was a mass miscommunication between emotions. Okay? That means... Let me go ahead and take that off because I can't stand the glare. Um, children that have limited affect do not show emotion in their face. The only time that they show it is when they are really excited. Like, really excited. Or when they are really angry. That's what limited affect is. In pictures, if you see pictures of my son, it is because I say, Hey, can you please smile? Or will you smile at me? My son does not show that. My son does not show joy. He does not show happiness. He does not show discomfort. Other people look at that and they don't see that. Um, another thing that he did, or I was told that he did, um, was he did not want to hold the teacher's hand when walking to the restroom children that um, children that have ASD no matter where they are on the spectrum about 60% of them studies have proven that 60% of them um, about 60% it may be different for your child do not like touching do not like touching strangers do not like touching objects um, that are unfamiliar to them do not like having people come up behind them and touch them they do not like the feeling of being touched or, um, which is different than pressure. Now, let me clarify that. Pressure that is uh, stimulated by the child is different than outward touching of the child. Um, now that I've taken my glasses off, can't read. He does not... Um, he does not realize that certain things that he may have an outburst about, like dinosaurs, or um, which is his special subject, uh, by the way. He loves dinosaurs. That is his special interest area. Um, that that may not pertain to the conversation. So you may be talking to him about what made you decide what you were wearing that day. And he might say, I like dinosaurs. To him, there is no connection to a current situation unless you are specifically saying his name, specifically talking to him. Um, it, it, and it is an issue with other adults. I don't realize that as much because I do talk to him constantly. We do read alouds constantly. You'll see later on in my videos. Um, what we do with him to help him make connections um, another issue that he has is whispering he has no realization of the volume of his voice so sometimes he may be um, very quiet and calm and other times he may be very loud and rambunctious and I have a whole list. I have two pages. Two pages of stuff that um, are his symptoms. And I will go into all of those at a different point. But I wanted to let you know that for children that have high functioning autism or Asperger's, um, a lot of people say they're the same thing, some people don't. Um, it is very difficult taking a child especially a child that is in a homeschool setting who is used to three people out into the world and assuming that they're going to be okay because he wasn't okay and it was my fault so thank you for watching and i hope you have a blessed day please subscribe